Taiwanese tech giant TSMC warns an invasion of the island would render its factory inoperable, devastating global supply. Taiwan wants to make sure that it keeps its leading position in the semiconductor industry. The sector has been caught up in the U.S.-China trade tensions. But Taiwan has reported a large-scale incursion into its air defense zone for the second day running. More than 20 Chinese aircraft were spotted near the island. After the global crisis, COVID-19 pandemic, the world has seen the devastating impacts of the Russian-Ukrainian war. As the trunks from Russia started rolling in the soil of Ukraine because of the historical claims of the country over the region of Ukraine, we cannot differentiate much between the situation between China and Taiwan. In recent reports, the Chinese incursions of the air defense of Taiwan have reached 42 years in the year 2023. While China is one of the largest countries in the world with a land mass of 9.597 million square kilometers, Taiwan is only 36,197 square kilometers. Even the Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi had been reported to state that Taiwan will eventually return to the embrace of the motherland. Did you ask yourself, why is this small nation which is only 0.38% of the overall Chinese land mass, so important to China? why China has always dominated Taiwan over the last four decades or more. In this case study, we will explore the economy of Taiwan to find out the reasons why this small country is so significant to China. Taiwan is a small country with a land mass of 36,197 square kilometers, and, the population of the country is 23.1 million as of the reports in 2022. The large population of the country works as a highly qualified workforce, which makes it a significant player in the global market. The nominal GDP of Taiwan is $790.7 billion, which is still on growth. While in 2022, most of the countries around the world were struggling due to the aftereffects of the pandemic, and, the Russian-Ukrainian war, Taiwan experienced a growth of 2.5% in GDP. Again, in 2023, the country experienced a growth of 2.1%, and, by the end of 2024, the GDP growth of Taiwan will be 2.6%. Based on the purchasing power parity, Taiwan is the 12th ranked country in the world. The country has developed a strong core to deal with global crises periods, which makes Taiwan a stronger economy than many global powers. When in 2022, the UK experienced its worst ever inflation up to 11%, Taiwan controlled its inflation by around 3% during the crisis. One of the most significant factors that played a role in the economic miracle of Taiwan is the increased level of foreign trade over the years. Foreign trade has been called the engine of the Taiwanese economy for the last four decades. The country is mainly an export-oriented country where it has established itself as a significant player in global trade. And, the most crucial export item of Taiwan is the items made in the electronic sector. Taiwan's electronic sector is the largest recipient of USA investment over the past few decades. If you look into the China-USA trade war perspective, the Taiwanese electronics industry becomes a vulnerable side of both countries. The top five trade partners of Taiwan are China, Japan, the USA, Hong Kong, and the European Union. As we all know, these are the countries that run the global economic flow. For this reason, the foreign trade sector of Taiwan has become so powerful and dominant all over the globe. As stated earlier, Taiwan has a highly qualified workforce which makes the country powerful. From the beginning of its economic revolution, the country has faced a lack of natural resources. For this reason, the country highly depends on the workforce. To attract more and more foreign investment, the human resource of the country is largely focused on innovation management. Investing more in innovation is creating opportunities for Taiwan to increase global trade. According to the reports of Business Environment Risk Intelligence or shortly known as BERI, Taiwan is the third best country for international business investment. The most anticipated product developed by the Taiwan electronics sector is the contract computer chip. The country is the largest supplier of semiconductors with 60% of global production. And, 90% of the best quality semiconductors are made in Taiwan. The massive dominance of the country in the chip industry makes it very important to literally every country in the world. This chip made by Taiwan powers everything from mobile phones to electronic cars. 
Already, only from the supply of semiconductors, the Taiwanese government earns 15% of its GDP. And, with the shortages in the global energy sector day by day, the significance of semiconductors is also increasing. The semiconductor industry of Taiwan is so significant to countries around the world that, economists claim it to be the silicon shield of Taiwan during tension situations with China. Moreover, Taiwan is a leading manufacturer of LCD panels, computer memory, equipment for information technology, and designer of consumer electronics. If we take a deep look into the top export partners of Taiwan, we will get a clearer view of why Taiwan is so important to China. Though the two countries share a very critical diplomatic relation among themselves due to their geographic locations and historic issues, China is the biggest trading partner of Taiwan. While China is the biggest exporter of goods and services around the world, it imported products worth $515 billion only during the phase 2017 to 2022 from Taiwan. In these five years, China has been the biggest exporter of goods from Taiwan. The closest in the list is the USA with an export value of $245.02 billion. Hong Kong is in the third position with an estimated export of $240 billion in this five-year span. The other countries on the list are Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Germany, and many other developed nations. One common factor among all these countries is, they have strong technology-oriented industries. And, as Taiwan is the exporter of electronic items to these countries, they have a great dependency on Taiwan. Taiwan exported an all-time high level of exporter electronic goods to mainland China in 2021. But the country has got a strong grip over the mainland with its power over semiconductors. The small island nation is the main supplier of chips to China and in the year 2020, China had to spend more on semiconductor exports from Taiwan compared to what they spent on oil. While oil is the most significant export item for any country around the globe, China had to invest more in semiconductor exports due to the increased demand in the manufacturing industry. This shows the significance of the Taiwanese semiconductor industry to China. According to some economists, China is stockpiling chips before an invasion or a greater move against Taiwan. Time will answer this one. However, reports suggest that it will take one more decade for China to become self-sufficient in semiconductors and take any action against Taiwan. If we look into the current situation, any kind of invasion within the next three to six years against Taiwan will destroy a major portion of the tech infrastructure of China. And, as a manufacturing-based economy, it will take away China from the supreme position it holds on global trade. A full-scale invasion of Taiwan may be an opportunity for any nation to get the spoils from war. But for definite reasons, Taiwan must be prepared to sabotage or even destroy the semiconductor facilities when a full-scale invasion takes place. Now the question here is, would China invade Taiwan? The current situation of the Chinese economy is stable. It is the leader of world manufacturing exports and running a major portion of the global trade. There is no immediate reason for the mainland to invade Taiwan as things stand. The growth of Chinese economy is getting positive support from the exports coming from Taiwan. This is working as the shield of Taiwan. However, international information forecaster Michael Orm suggests that, one way or another, Taiwan will become part of China by the year 2049. Also, China is really tied with the West based on trading relationships. While Russia has been dealing with the sanctions by other countries since the start of the invasion in Ukraine, China will have to deal with much larger sanctions if the goes for a full-scale invasion. So, the Chinese can only move when they are prepared. The trump card for Taiwan is its great diplomatic relations with the top developed countries in the world. Most notably, the country has significant ties with the USA, which makes it harder for China to invade Taiwan. However, nothing is predictable when it comes to global geopolitics. No one could ever predict, Russia would run a full-scale invasion on Ukraine right after the COVID-19. How China approaches Taiwan or if it will ever approach? Time will tell. What's your view on this issue? Let us know in the comments below.